We're going to move on to um, the last portion of the lesson, um, Ezra and Neville. Uh, we always bring in a bit of scripture or some, some Hebrew prayer, and we look at it in terms of some vocabulary and some grammar. So um, Gideon and Joseph, you're both welcome to unmute at this time and, and help us uh, go through the last bit of our lesson. So the, the lesson today is based on um, Exodus uh, 35, verse 2. And here are the words that we're going to encounter, or some of the vocabulary that we're going to encounter. The Hebrew word for vocabulary, Joseph, do you recall? At the top? It's without vowels, so it's a little challenging, but the yud gives you a clue that it's chiriks that we're dealing with. Are you there, Joseph? Yes. Um, Gideon, could you fill in until Joseph gets settled? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, no problem. We're, we're looking at the Hebrew word for vocabulary, and it's a bit challenging. Be well done, milim. And let's, let's give you an opportunity. Would you kindly give us the vocabulary uh, for today's lesson? The vocabulary is in red and then the translations. Yeah. Uh, this will be Joseph's so, time to shine. Okay. Okay. Shabbat. Beautiful. And the translation? Sabbat. Nice. In Israeli, Next. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very helpful. Next, kindly. Melaka. And are we looking at a kaf or a chaf? Melaka. Beautiful. And the translation? Work. Work. Kazi. Next, kindly. We have both the singular and the plural form of, of the word for day. Uh, yes. So you'll, you'll recite, actually, these are two words. This is the first word. Yom. Yom. And then the plural. Yeah. Yomim. Yamim. Well done. So the translation would be. Day or days. Excellent. We also have what's called grammar lessons. And what's the Hebrew for grammar? Gideon, why don't you take a turn now? Kindly, the Hebrew word for grammar. Yeah. Dikduk. Very nice. Dikduk. Yeah. And let me explain what's going on here. Uh, we have the word sheish, which we know is six, and we've added a tav to the end of it. And Gideon, kindly pronounce this Hebrew for us. Okay. Sheshet. Exactly, sheshet. So this tav functions as a conjunction, which means it's putting together something that follows. And, and it means of. So it really the translation is six of something. And we'll see what, it, what it's six of when we read the verse itself. Then we're very well familiar with the letter that as a prefix serving as a preposition meaning in. And we're also very familiar now with the letter Lamed as a prefix, a preposition meaning for. So now, Gideon, we're well prepared to read the, the, the verse for today, Exodus ch chapter 35, verse 2. And then we can do a little bit of work on translation. Okay. Sheshit Yamim. Beautiful. He, uh, he, uh, so is that a is that a hey or a tav? Oh, 
te te ase. Beautiful te ase. Melaka. Beautiful. Continue. Uba ubayom. Beautiful. You're doing a nice job today of breaking things up into open and closed syllables. But is this a bet or a vet? I vet. Uva. Okay. Ubayom. Beautiful. Continue. Hash vi e. Beautiful. Hash vi e. Ich. Ich ye. Yeah. Ye. Nice. La came. Kaf or kaf? Kaf. Okay. One more. Once more. La came. La came. Yeah. La came. There you go. Very nice. Continue. Kodesh. Kodesh, right. Shabbat. Beautiful. Shabbat. Shabbaton. Beautiful. Just beautiful pronunciation. Continue. This is a silent yud. We only concern ourselves with the patach. This okay. is something relatively new for you, but I'm here to teach you that this. Well, it depends on how you're going to pronounce the name of God. So that it kind of depends. Like you, you like to, very good. La Hova. La Hova. La Hova. Well, La Hova. Right. Kal. Kaf or Chaf. Oh, yeah, I just said it. Right. Now, here is one of those traditions of pronunciation for which we don't really learn a rule. You just receive it from your teacher. Um, you receive the tradition from your teacher. This word is pronounced kol. Okay. Yeah. So kal. So it's kol. It's not kal. It's kol. Kol. Yeah. It's just an aberration. Kol. Ha o se. Beautiful. Ha o se. Vo. Nice. Milaka, Milaka, well done. Yom, Yomat, 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 I'm sorry, Yomat. So, Joseph, I'm going to ask you to do something very challenging. We've we've learned we've learned that Sheshet means six of. And we've learned that that yamim is the plural of yom. So I'm going to ask you on your own to translate the first two words, to recite them in Hebrew, and then to translate the first two words. Okay. Sheshet. Nice. Yamim will mean. Yeah. Okay. So you can do the exact trans, right, of six days. you got it, right, six, six of days, oh, six of days. account six of days, but you, you nailed it the first time, it's really just translated six days, yeah. but this is a Hebrew form in the Bible, which you'll, you'll see periodically, six days, te'asa, you shall make, Malacha work. So for six days you shall do work. Uvayom. So here we know that these are prepositions that we've learned the meaning of u, the meaning of va, and then we just learned the meaning of yom. Kindly translate for us uvayom. So, U, I'll remind you, because I didn't put it up there, U means and. And we know that Va, we know that the Bet can mean in. And we know what the meaning of Yom is. So, U, Va, Yom. And in, day. Right. So, we have U, Va, Yom, Hash, V, E. And in the day, the seventh. Or 
or in better English, and in the seventh day, Hashvi'i, the seventh, Uvayom, and in the day. So it translates, and in the seventh day, Yihiyah Lachem, there shall be for you. And by the way, Gideon and Joseph, we already know Lecha is to you for a man, and Lach is to you for a woman, because we go, um, um, Yesh Lach and Yesh Lecha, you have for, um, Yesh Lachem would mean you have plural. Many, many people have. Anyway, Kodesh, Shabbat Shabbaton. The seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a holy Sabbath of Sabbaths. Ladonai, for God. Kol ha'oseb bo melacha, all that do work on it, do not, shall die. Okay, so that's the uh, verse and some analysis of it to uh, give us an idea how vocabulary and and grammar will be helpful in, in approaching the Hebrew verses. Uh, Neville and Ezron, it's such a pleasure to have you and welcome. Um, Ezron, I, I congratulate you on an excellent start. I, I hope we can see you uh, every day. And Maria, thank you for your support uh, in the beginning of the lessons. It's very, very helpful. And again, Joseph and Gideon, your, your pronunciation and now translating Hebrew and understanding elements of, of grammar is very advanced and very exciting and should take you very far with your studies. So that's all I have for you guys uh, tonight. Today, I, I again, thank you very much and look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Very